hi guys uh it's nompilo here welcome back to my channel um i hope you're doing well wherever you are and when, whenever you see this video you'll be okay uh so this today is gonna be just a quick video guys and um this is uh in reference to my previous video about journaling now when i did that video uh all i wanted to do was to um to promote this healing tool that uh, anybody can use to sort of like empower their mind. And in the process of me doing the video and publishing it and watching it and thinking about it, I realized that, you know, in that video itself, I talked about deeper subjects things that were really deep i sort of like touched upon things that were deep and i sort of like touched upon something that requires a video in itself because some people may be going through this and the thing is i spoke about you know childhood pain which is uh, a problem really in 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 today's society now people have been um you know done things by adults as kids for example molestation sexual molestation is a problem people can barely go through sexual molestation we have celebrities that have committed suicide and we later on learn that they were molested as a child or it's known that they were molested as a child and as much as they grew up and had this success they couldn't work out or they couldn't heal that molestation now this is the thing if anybody has gone through sexual molestation as a child i'm gonna say one thing that empowers you because i am not about uh you know attacking the person who molested you because we all know these people they would deny they would deny and make you feel like as though you are the crazy one they will tell you you were dreaming they will tell you it's not me who did it they will tell you you're crazy they will tell you how could you wait all these years to come and ask me that they will gaslight you and brainwash you to the point of feeling like as though you're crazy so for me my approach is always taking control take control of the situation and heal yourself so the number one thing that I want to say is this to anybody who's been molested as a child. People that molest people, they have been molested themselves. They have been molested themselves. Somebody somewhere in their life did the do to them. And this deed left a mark. Because here is the problem with molesting a child. When a child is growing... Is, 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 is young, they are still growing. Their body is still developing. And what happens to their energy centers? Their energy centers are still developing. They absorb things. And those things, they stay there. That's why it's difficult to work through childhood trauma. Because those things, they get trapped in the body. And, the, and, and as the body is growing, those things are there. Whereas if you do something to an adult, they, they are already fully developed. Their body will get rid of it probably quicker than if somebody is a child. So the main thing for me is this. Realize that whoever molested you has been molested themselves. It goes back to the saying, hurt people also hurt people. So somebody did whatever they did and they did not deal with it properly. And now they are thinking, oh, okay, you know what? Somebody did this to me. I'm going to do it to somebody else to show power. Because if somebody is molesting you, they are taking your power away. They are taking your power away. You're going to grow up with it and with, with that type of molestation. And you're going to feel like, oh, my God, I'm not a human being. Or, oh, my God, I'm not a man. I'm not. Especially if this happens to men. I feel sorry for men because men are meant to be these powerful people. And even when boys are young, boys walk around like, I'm the man of the house. Imagine what happens to that child who is so confident if somebody comes and takes away their, their confidence. What will happen? Now they're feeling like, okay, this person treated me like I'm a woman. 
like it's a woman whom you're supposed to conquer men feel like we are, they are supposed to conquer women so what happens if another man conquers them they're like okay this person treated me this way um probably this is how i'm also supposed to treat somebody else they try and get over the pain by treating somebody else like that now that does not mean that's okay it's not okay right guys uh so the second thing the second message that i wanted to say regarding this uh subject of child molestation and a message to anybody who has been molested guys just start your healing process start your healing process i mean the 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 the, the more you heal the more you're going to be able to face life and more so if you want face whoever is responsible for molesting you there is no need of going to the person who molested you if they are going to abuse you uh, mentally and emotionally again so for me i would say start the healing process don't wait for somebody to come and apologize to you as i said because they won't start the healing process now how do you do this the internet is full of ways in which you can tap into the mind and your body in general and uproot anything that's not meant to be there. First of all, there is already the subject that I've spoken about, the subject of journaling. You've got meditation. You've got uh, using crystals to heal and stabilize your energy. But you cannot use these tools if you are not in a state of healing yourself. It's not going to work. You need to be mentally be in a state of saying okay i'm gonna heal myself and how do you do you start doing that you face whatever happened to you be honest with whatever happened to you and while on the subject of healing realize that molestation does not make you who you are a lot of people they walk around like oh i was molested so that is who i am and the world knows no half of the people you think no they don't know realize that molestation does not have to define who you are nothing in life defines who we are except for us nothing in life defines who we are except for us not the money not your job not uh, who you are married to or dating not your kids um, not the troubles that you've gone through not um, you know rape um nothing in life not even your religion nothing in life defines who we are except for us we define ourselves i am not non below v i am non below that's that's it right there and not even the name defines me you know i am who i am so realize that you know nothing define that molestation uh, act does not define who you are a lot of people that's where they struggle like the bar stops at okay i got molested so this is who i am no throw that away um the thing with me people that know me they know okay i'm that person who i'm very confrontational if some, something happens i am i'm very confrontational i'm going in i'm asking the questions i'm like this but sometimes i don't even ask the questions myself i will confront myself so the way to heal molestation confront yourself and say this happened the question is how am i going to deal with it how do i heal it that's where you start and realize that as i talk of the healing process it's not gonna be easy it's not gonna be easy you're gonna take 10 steps and you think yes i've i've, I've done it i've done it and then step 11 you can't lift your foot you are back to step three you are crying, you are kicking, you are screaming, you're like, but I thought I had healed. It's a process. It's a whole process. So if somebody has gone through this, start your healing process now. There is no point in me saying, oh, whoever did this was wrong. Yes, they are wrong. We all know that. The world knows that. But how are you going to help yourself? How are you going to empower yourself? Move on. Be a better being. That's my question to you. How are you going to walk over this? How are you going to help yourself? Now, the last thing that I want to say to the people that have been molested and the people that are dealing with people that have been molested is this. 
child molestation creates um it changes our dna it changes our dna in the sense that it changes the way we relate to other people so if you have somebody whom you are dealing with and they have been molested you may not know but observe their behavior are they kicking and screaming over nothing are they um okay one moment they may be kicking and screaming the next moment they are aloof they are distant they are like this they are like that the next thing they have no confidence it 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 it, it, it does this we yo yo whenever a person has been molested there is this random character that they bring in of which other people will be like oh he's crazy other people will be like oh you can't trust them other it's because that person has gone through a lot and that's what molestation does the way we relate to our pe to other people changes our confidence sometimes people that have been molested they want to um to to show their confidence you know that i'm confident but actually their confidence is ruining other people they're doing it in a way that ruins other people if you have gone through molestation those are little things to watch out for that okay be aware of your own actions am i you know showing too much confidence to other people and overtaking them am i bullying other people am i a little bit aloof sometimes people that have been molested they don't they cannot show love and they cannot receive love be wary of that because that can stop you from getting good opportunities that are supposed to come to you that is the one thing that i wanted to say like this goes both ways because the people that have been molested they get help from the people that haven't from the people that are in the in the good mindset anyway guys so uh thank you for watching uh i really appreciate your time but more so i appreciate the fact that i had a moment to do this video uh because i do struggle of time sometimes and um i hope this video does help somebody out there heal i will go back to doing skincare videos because i know the people that are interested in skincare are like oh but my point is this there is no need for us as people to continue focusing on what's on the outside this canvas that is on the outside if the internal is at war my last video i said a human being is a pyramid mind soul and body right all these things they have to be in a relationship for a human being to focus your health needs to be in order your mind needs to be in order and yes the outside can be the last thing so yeah i will go back to doing skincare videos but there are other things that at the moment i feel like are so important for me to talk about and for people to hear it i'm all about healing people people that know me that's that's what i'm all about listening to people healing people and passing on the knowledge i feel like at the moment the world is going through we are going through a lot and sometimes we need to just focus on our internal before we can focus on anything else shout out thank you thanks guys have a beautiful beautiful day and stay blessed love you too bye